What's up, everybody? Here we are, posting at the beach, right? Chilling. Another one of those days. Anyway, I feel like it's time to get busy. Perfect. 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 Yo, what's up? What's up, my YouTube folks? So, you catch me creating some poster designs here, and I went down to the dollar store and I got me some posters and I started doodling with a paintbrush. I went down to Hobby Lobby, I picked myself up a paintbrush like this one right here and I started doing some calligraphy type art you know lettering on on poster board or just uh, yeah poster boards but these are like 80 cents dollar dollar store man so I got a little bit creative and started splattering some inks on there I think it was kind of cool I mean some people might be into it some people might not but what did happen, you know, I don't plan to make money off those. If I do sell one, I'll sell them for a five, 10, or even 15 bucks each. You know, I don't care to make money off these posters, you know. But what did happen was when I started messing with it, I realized it was good for your sensory. It was relieving. I felt like I was relieving stress as I started painting on the, on the paperboard. I felt my body relieving stress. So it does help with uh, anxiety, stress, and all that stuff. So grab a paintbrush, grab a poster or paper. It don't, you don't have to go get a canvas. Canvases are expensive. You can get a canvas for like nine, 10, 15 bucks. You don't want to spend that kind of money. Go get some poster papers at the dollar store and just doodle on them, man. Just do some doodling on your posters, all right? Quick little episode. I want to advise you guys that it does relieve some type of stress here all right if you guys are dealing with emotional problems or anything that's clogging your mind and you can't think straight this episode is for you because i want to tell you guys that you know i've been through all those uh stages where you know you have anxiety you have stress you you have all these things going on in your life and you just can't put your life in order and you know, it's like my other episode that I made um, where I'm talking about staying in line. Well, this is like a follow-up episode where I'm telling you guys, staying in line in your line of work, but in this episode is staying in line with your life, man. Because what happens when you don't pay your credit card? Well, I haven't paid my credit card in a couple months. What happened was I started getting all kinds of new late fees, you know what I mean? So I got like three or four late fees because I decided that I didn't want to stay in line with my credit card. So all these late fees came in. Now I started dealing with like issues like I'm getting tickets on the road. Now I got to pay some tickets. That's me not staying in line. I got a ticket because I was a little bit speeding, but then I wasn't paying attention to my meter you know i wasn't in line with the laws uh traffic laws so that's why they got me with a speeding ticket second time around three weeks later i got another ticket for being on my phone you know what i mean and guess what it really sucks because now i got two tickets to pay for uh and you know what i don't like paying tickets man i that's what happens when you don't stay in line so you got all these things in the back of your head Revolving around the back of your head, you know, you got tickets, you got credit cards to pay, you got maybe, you, maybe you got child support to pay, maybe you got other issues going on, health issues that you got to take care of, or you got, um, in general, just staying up with a family or, or business or work, you know, and you got all these things in the back of your head you got to take care of that are clogging your mind. That's why you can't stay in line right now. That's why you can't move ahead. Cause there's these things in the back of your head just taking you down bringing you back down 
and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to take care of those things that are clogging my mind so that I can think clearly and move ahead to the next level. The reason that I'm being held back is because I got a few things that I got to take care of. I just got it. Matter of fact, the DMV just sent me a paper. I got to pay my, my registration fee with a smog within the next six weeks. Come on, man. It's hard to stay in line, man. Believe me, hear it from me. It's hard to stay in line. But in your life, in order to move ahead, make sure that you stay in line or at least rearrange your closet, man. If you lose something in your closet, like the other day this happened to me, I was digging around my closet to find uh, my social security card or I can't, I can't remember what it was, something that belonged to me. I was searching for it, uh, maybe my passport, I think. I uh, went into the closet where I keep all my stuff and piles and piles of stuff just falling, start falling out. What happens there? All my stuff is not in line, man. It's just everywhere. So in order for me to find what I'm looking for, I got to rearrange my closet, man, so that I can find my item that I'm looking for. You know, it's, it's that factor, staying in line, you know? Now I got to rearrange my closet, put everything back together, and maybe I'll find that one thing that I lost. So remember to stay in line, folks. If you got some similar things going on in your life, please remember that you got to clean out your closet, rearrange everything so that you can move ahead to your next step and do the next thing you got to do. All right. I keep thinking about things I want to do and then I want to uh, things that I want to do, but I'm so busy doing things that I need to do. Just needs, you know what I mean? I need to take care of that bill. I need to take care of that. I need to do this, I need to do that before I get there. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go to the beach this, this summer. I'm trying to be swimming out in the ocean and splashing out in the water. I'm trying to do all that stuff. But before I get there, I gotta take care of stuff here. I gotta take care of business, all right? I gotta take care of my clientele. Make sure that I have enough money for me to go spend when I do go out there and have fun and have a blast. I know that I'm gonna be spending some cash. So yes, I do need to stay in line. Staying in line is as important for your business to grow because I believe that once you fall in line, a lot of pieces of your life start to fall in place. Now, I feel like my life is out of place right now. I got a lot of things to take care of. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even be making a video today because I got things to do. Till next time, folks, stay tuned, follow me, subscribe, and share my videos with people you think might need my help. All right? Till next time.